Skull and Bones is an open world game set during the Age of Piracy. You'll captain your own ship, set sail in the open seas of the Indian Ocean, and craft and plunder until your heart's content. And chances are, you're going to hate it. Here's why. When it comes to pirate games, there hasn't been a lot of choice in recent years, and so when you hear that there's a new AAA pirate game being released in November by Ubisoft, you're going to want to compare that to the most popular pirate game in recent years, which is Sea of Thieves. And you're also going to want to compare it to one of the most iconic pirate games ever made, which is Assassin's Creed Black Flag, which also happens to be made by Ubisoft. You'll assume that a new pirate game will likely have all the same mechanics as those two games and more. And that's where you're wrong. Skull and Bones is an open world naval combat game, not an open world action adventure game, which is what Sea of Thieves and Black Flag are. In Skull and Bones, you're really controlling a ship instead of a character. And yes, there are moments where you'll walk around as your captain, like whenever you're in pirate hideouts or when you land on outposts to interact with traders or, or dig up treasure, but that's really it. There's no hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's all ship versus ship and there is boarding, but it's a cutscene instead of interactive like we'd see in Black Flag and Sea of Thieves. So if that is what you're looking for in a new pirate themed game, if you've been waiting for Ubisoft to make Black Flag 2, if, if you want another Sea of Thieves with more hand-to-hand -hand combat and more realistic graphics, then you're likely going to hate this game. But if that doesn't put you off, there is a lot to like in Skull and Bones. Skull and Bones will be a live service game. The intention from Ubisoft Singapore is that they'll be creating and adding content to this game for a long time, likely through different seasons that we see in many other games. This is a game that I expect you're going to be able to sink a lot of hours into as you travel what seems to be a pretty large map, gather resources and build one of 12 ships that will be available at launch. If you love multiplayer PvP, that's amazing. You can team up with your friends or go solo and fight other players out on the seas, but it has equally been hinted that there will be PvE servers for people who just want a more chilled experience. There's equally a lot of customization in this game. You can outfit your ship with different rooms that add different bonuses, there's a number of weapons and armor that you can load out your ships with, and there seems to just in general be a lot of customization you can use for your ship and captain character. Yes, you aren't able to walk around your ship. Yes, there's no hand-to-hand -hand combat, but Skull and Bones isn't trying to be the new Sea of Thieves. It's not trying to be Black Flag 2. I think it's trying to be the open world pirate game for people who like World of Warships, for the Destiny and Division players out there. So if it sounds like that kind of game isn't something you'd hate, then why not click here and I'll tell you more about five of the key features that are going to be in the game that I think you're going to really love.